Yeah, yeah, says, does it bother you when Abba calls you white? We'll talk about it when we cover the flagrant stuff. Indiana Jones, I already feel my allergies freaking out. <laughs> I didn't take my pills. Okay, whatever. Okay, so we have a couple of options. Do you guys want to ask Mark any questions in particular? Um, oh, you're not talking about anything specific? Well, I have a couple of videos for us to watch if we want. Ugh, look at, I did not <laughs> form my sides cute today, but okay. Where are we looking? Um, Oh, right. That's my camera that's on right now. That's what people are watching us from. And the audio should be good, but if you can see, like, talk. Hello. So, like, you can uh, see your voice spiking. Look at her. I know. Really? She's such a whore. <sighs> I know. Look at her. She's like, love me. Somebody love me. Tina says, does Mark have a channel? No. Mark is not a content creator. <laughs> Thought about it for like two seconds, like a middle school dream, high school. Dream. Nope. You not know, not for me. Why do you think that I'm the only sibling who decided to like go Dude, up? Dude, I don't know. Well, you have the personality for it, but what were you even, ex when did YouTube even come out? Like, did you want to do that be uh, online before YouTube? Because what year did you Well, do? I wanted to be a talk radio host before YouTube, right? Oh, that makes a lot of so sense. So it's I kind of that. like a cheat sheet into like talk radio almost. Mm. I will say though, do you know dad was the person who told me to get on YouTube? I'm shocked. Yeah, he wanted me to be like, um, oh, I Justine. He wanted me to do, like, she was a YouTuber who used to review, like, tech stuff. What? Mm-hmm. He was like, you should be like, I just seen. Oh, Marcus Aurelius, my, my water's all the way over there. Do you want to get it, or should I hop over? No, but I will. Okay, thank you. Does Mark want to have a channel? Not at all. <clears throat> no. Hear me. I get exhausted too easily, like. Even I, I like I, I was just telling my friends I love you guys I love my friends but I don't want to hang out with them every day, and it's like after this I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be really exhausted like socially exhausted, mm -hmm. but like not like it's not horrible but I can't I can't fathom how you do this every day. Well, I don't stream every day, huh, guys? I stream every Monday. Well, you... I talk to people every day, Every yeah, day. Obviously. You're always, like, talking to people online and whatnot, but... Yeah. By the way, how did we accidentally match? Hmm. We're, like, color-coordinated. Huh? It was not on purpose. <laughs> that was absolutely not on purpose. Um, uh, is it DeWitt? De De DeWitt? Is that how you say it? Oh. Um, their names are right here. Um... How would Mark compare gay dating to straight dating? Well, would you know? Well, I don't know. Let me think about it. Because um, you don't straight date. I've, and I've I've never dated anyway. Actually, I've been on two dates before. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I just went to Panda Express with a guy. And then I was like, let's go on a on a <laughs> hike. And we went on a, a pretty, like, a long walk. And then I was like, okay, I don't feel it. But that was nice. It was nice. But uh, let's see. Straight. I don't know. I just feel like everyone dating is cringy that I see like in media and my friends and it's always fake and like, I don't know. It seems really easy to me. I just don't, I'm not like looking necessarily and I don't have options slash I'm really picky. So I don't know. Cause, Cause, okay, so they say lesbians move in together right away, you know. Move in lesbians. But that's not a that's you not a thing. Yeah, it's but you straight lesbians? people do it. It's a straight thing for sure too, because you know, like my friends right now, who the ones living together mm -hmm. right away, mm -hmm. it's like they're date they live together then the straight couple like start dating yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just like, dude, you guys are so gay in the straightest way ever. Like, <laughs> straight people do move in fast together. I don't know why it's just do. like lesbians saying that. But, Mark said it. Dating is cringe. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, it's like, um, I don't know. It's kind of like when my friends are dating someone and or people I know are dating someone and they come talk to me about mm -hmm. them. I'm like, why don't you ask them that? I'm so confused. Why like you're in, asking their partner. Me. Yeah. Go ask the person you're dating these questions. I'm, I'm mind boggled that you're asking me this. I don't know the answer. There is literally a bubble. I just saw what? this guy was destiny was watching him and he's like, he's like men. Find a male best friend to go to and confide in. A real friend, not your woman. Don't ever tell your wife when you're feeling insecure about anything. Women don't want to see you cry. They don't want to know your feelings. And I'm all like, 
like the opposite kind of person. Yeah. I don't trust you if you don't show me your feelings and I'm going to get paranoid and think that you're just like serial cheating or serial like doing something. Or what about someone who's, this is random a little bit, but they're like, they don't have any friends or don't want you to meet their friends ever. Oh, yeah. It's like mm-hmm. big red flag. It's like, big red I'm flag. sorry, what? Well, okay. What's your ideal relationship look like? Um, okay. Good. Like don't i don't know that it'll change when i start dating obviously like preferences and whatnot because mm-hmm. like you know you think you know what you want you start dating and you're like oh i actually do like this i don't like this so nothing's set in stone but when i imagine dating someone i don't know maybe not like because i don't know myself too much about the dating life like i don't know if i'm gonna want to be with them every day am i gonna want my space still because i love being alone i know how i am with my friends and my family I love them and I love hanging out with them so much, but I still need to be in alone on my walks in my room doing my own thing because I can only take people in increments like Mm -hmm. or even like, you know, all day. Sometimes I can. It just depends on my mood. But some people, when you're dating them, they'll get upset, you know, that you don't want to be with them all the time or, you know, like getting texts a lot annoy me, too. And like getting good morning, good night all the time. Maybe I'm not used to it. I don't know. But or, but my friends say when I fall in love with someone or when you really love someone, though, then you're going to just want to do it and those feelings will go away. So maybe they'll go away and I'll be talking 24-7 to some guy I really like. Like I'm not sure. I kind of wonder if that's sometimes like a good indicator if the relationship is vibing, depending on how much you want to spend time with oh, them. Yeah, but yeah. also, I have met couples that are better suited for having more long distance relationships. So like... Even as a kid, though, as, like, a little girl, I used to dream about my ideal relationship. And it depended on the circumstance I was in and what I had energy for more than, like, moralizing the relationship. So I didn't need to say, like, you are bad if your relationship is like this and that's evil. You shouldn't do it, right? I'm not a religious person. So instead, I, like, I have, like, these fantasies of, like, depending on the situation, this is my ideal. Depending on the situation, this is my ideal. But then I only have certain things I'm open to. Other things I'm not. I'm not open to dating somebody who's gone six months out of the year. I'm not dating. I'm not open to dating somebody who's gone, you know, every night. I want them to work days so we can be together. I'm not open to yeah. X, Y, and Z. See, if- I don't have preferences like that yet. Maybe <clears throat> I will, but. And also, maybe I'm talking. I don't know if I'm talking about during the honeymoon stage or after the honeymoon stage. Maybe honeymoon, because I still don't know what that is because I haven't really experienced that yet. I'm not sure you, everyone does. But like honeymoon phase, like. Um, I what if I want to talk all the time and then when we're like, you know, when you're old, married, well, husband and wife, it's like time apart is healthy and good and I don't know, makes you want to be with each other at the end of the day because you don't see each other all day and it makes you have a healthier relationship. Do you feel like your people are mostly dating for the current selves that they are and then they're negotiating as they go along? Like, do you like to create plans or do you like to just wing and be spontaneous? Like, would you prefer that your friends, as an example said, hey, do we plan on going to X restaurant tonight? Do you want to come? Like, do you want to plan with us? Or would you prefer like a Um, last minute text? I want a last minute text because I don't know how I'm going to feel in three hours. I don't Ah, know. I go definitely on my feeling. People ask me, you want to go in three days? I'm like, ask me in three days. I I used to be like that in my 20s. I would say like, oh, ask me like that day because I don't know how I'm going to feel. But once I got like all my mental health and everything figured out, I now can plan out my spoons days in advance. Yeah, it's not like I'm going through something. It's just like, what if I'm not? I'm just not in a social mood. What if I'm just Mm -hmm. lazy? What if I want to just be fat and eat all my food and watch my shows that day? What if I like have energy like or sometimes I get really like... Well, if I do make plans with my friends, like, obviously, I'll hype myself up. Not hype myself up, necessarily. Just kind of, like, I'm going no matter what. Like, I, I won't go back on my word if I give it. But mm-hmm. that's why I rarely give it. But, like, say my friend has, like, he's playing a show or they're playing a show, like, in their band. I'm going, even if I don't want to be around pe- people, but whatever. See, so you can it's make a commitment like, dre- it's out. Not you can make a commitment further out. Yeah, I can. Like, I'll still have a good time. Like, it's, like... You know, I've always had a good time anywhere I go, really. I can talk to anybody in the crowd and just, like, hang out with them. Mm -hmm. But I might, I kind of like doing things when I feel it. Like, it just feels better, like, when you're really in the mood. Um, That's kind of like when I'm, like, randomly, like, ooh, I want to go on a walk. I have to go on a walk right when I feel that feeling. Because if I wait 15, 20 minutes, I'm not going on a walk anymore. So I immediately, like, put my shoes on. You should have got a pill. I literally, I forgot where I put my allergy pills. Um, do you I need a Benadryl? I have that. Benadryl makes me tired, right? Where did I put my pills? 
Okay. So, um, okay. I'll ask you this and I'll go get up and try to find it. Will you answer it? Um, so that happened to me the other night where I was like in the mood to watch Chainsaw Man. I was like, okay, I have to watch it now mm-hmm. or I'm not going to be in the mood to binge watch like 20 episodes or whatever it is, that anime. So like my partner and I, don't say his name, we mentioned, we just watched it together um, like New Year's Eve and like the day before. That was like, we we were like, okay, now we're in the mood. Let's watch it. So I binge watched Chainsaw Man. I'm finally caught up, you fucking whores who have wanted me to watch it, okay? I am caught the fuck up. But like with anime, but... wow, they're going my dry flowers. <laughs> I don't want to look. <laughs> They're fine. You didn't do it. You didn't do it. Okay. So for me, for certain things that are considered like like not work time, I have to be very picky about how I spend my not work time. So usually I'm like, can I turn this into work? If I can't turn it into work, then I have to be willing to sacrifice those hours by like not working, which is fine. But when you're a contract worker, you always have that anxiety of like wanting to work. So do we like agree that spontaneity is like fun once in a while, but like planning is probably better for spoons? For spoons? Yeah. Try to be close to the mic. Hmm. Don't move too far back. I don't honestly know. Like, I know you like to plan stuff out a lot. And I don't know. I just hang out with my I'll hang out with my friends every day. I did for like two months straight recently. And then I'm like, guys, I have, I need, I'm like really worn out and I'm, I need alone time. So I, I didn't see them for like over a whole week and they were like, what's wrong? I'm like, I literally just am chilling at home, man. I'm like literally doing nothing right now. And they're like, why don't you do nothing with us? And I'm like, because I don't want to, (laughs) because I can't do nothing at your place. Like when I say nothing, I mean like take a shower and relax and watch my Star Trek. Or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but yeah. nothing like, yeah. Same. Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like a lot of the time when I say, I always tell my audience this. Like, when I say like I don't have the time, is what I'm. What I mean is like I don't have the energy. Yeah, like I don't know. Like, and also my friend, I'm like, dude, I'm I'm gonna be so b- boring and uncomfortable if I'm not in the mood to hang out. I'm just gonna sit there and be like, I'm just gonna be. If I'm gonna be act like in a good mood, sometimes I'll just be fake and be like, I I honestly shouldn't have come. I. I've done that where I've gone to my friends and in 10 minutes, I'm like, I love you guys, but I'm going home Yeah, because I should, I should have just listened to my feeling. Like I just want to go to bed. Honestly. Even my siblings though, like even each other, like a lot of us spend time in our rooms. Like you and I spent a Dude, lot of time. Remember when we like more siblings lived here and we would literally go all like accumulate in the kitchen and then spread out and go back to our rooms for a few hours and come back to the kitchen and we would hear each other outside and we're like, hello. It's happening down there. Mm-hmm. I hear a video game. Yeah. But it would not be all day. Well, that's the thing is I think when I was young in my 20s and I l- even earlier and literally had nothing to do. Yeah. You just go to your friend's house and sit on the couch and be on your phone yeah. or do nothing. But when you work all day and then you have limited time to be like doing nothing. Like I told my partner the other day, like genuinely, I could just like stare at a flame or a candle for hours. I could just like stare at like a high ass bitch like yeah i could just like that's my downtime is like that's how i'm recharging my spoons is like just staring at the wall not doing anything because every stimulation is a stimul like is a spoon possibly being taken away even like playing video games like yeah sometimes i'm in the mood and sometimes i'm not in the mood because sometimes it's either going to help or it's going to make my time work yeah so i'm really investing in me like i'm choosing me over the expectation of the bubble if somebody says like hey you have friends you should hang out with them yes but if you're my friend you should also respect the fact that i need space yeah um kind of like and it, i also went through this phase kind of like i don't know you know make memories as many memories as you can and mm, all yeah, yeah 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 and but sometimes <laughs> you just gotta draw a limit and like also you can have memories by yourself and that's important to be alone and i don't know like i i, I was a little like you know my friend died and right before i kind of i ditched her and like said no i need to work and i'm not gonna like go to the movies with you or do this and then she died, so I got really weird about, like, hanging out with my friends all the time, t- taking unnecessary pictures of us, like, so many photos that I'm yeah. like, this is a lot of photos. Like, I just was, like, I don't have a lot of photos of my my friend who died, and I'm just like, I want more photos, you know, if that happened. But I'm just like, damn, I'm so, <laughs> I'm okay now. Like, I don't need all this shit. Like, we're good. So, do you, like, I feel like moments in time require different things from us. So, like, sometimes I think we are required to do or be offered certain things for ourselves, for our own health, like our health. But I just don't, I don't think 
that you have to be the same way all the time, but I think your sure. personality tends to be consistent. So like some people, like I have some like spontaneous ass friends and I love them, but like I have to prepare. Or even when I went to Miami to hang out with my friends, like Abba already told me we're going to go skating. So I mentally prepared to go skating and I mentally prepared to stream. And they were so considerate. Even Steven reached out to me. He's like, okay, when are we streaming? When are you working? When do you have free time? Like we planned out that weekend, even though we planned it. Um, and it was so nice to plan it. We also were open to being spontaneous to an extent because they mm. wanted to respect the fact that we were flying out for work. Like it costs a lot of money to do these things. Like this is not a joke. Like for a lot of us, like I, I have to budget in my collaborations because you know what I mean? Like they cost money mm. and you don't get monetary value back right away. You get them through networking and connections and building collabs and maybe you make money. Mm -hmm. But it's not like we streamed on my channel, right? And so when we're all hanging out for work, they were so respect, like they so respected the fact that we were working. And then when we had like free time, it was just free time. Like the mm -hmm. skating thing was free time, but I have to think about how I'm using my spoon. So I didn't sleep as much as I normally do in Miami. They were also considered of like my lupus and stuff. They were very like, what do you need? What food can you eat? Like they were very on top of it for me. Like, cause they actually saw my body react. Like I had my rashes and everything was like, I was tired by 6 PM. And I was like, <gasps> you know what I mean? But they were so considerate again. I think so much of what it means to have like an ideal relationship, friendship, whatever else has to do with like, what can people actually symbiotically like work with you? Like, how can they work with you symbiotically? Like giving to each other, actually like yeah. benefiting each other, not just like one person taking, one person yeah. giving, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like a lot depends on me, like how consistent I am hanging out with people. Cause like even yesterday you saw my, my friend and I, I'm like, I, I like, we're like, oh, let's hang out at 3 p.m. And I waited forever and I did, but <laughs> I purposely, sometimes planning is good actually, like a little bit, like in the same day, because if I like overeat at home, I'm not going out because I get tired when I eat a lot. So if I'm going to hang out with my friends in two hours, I'm not eating anything because I'll just end up wanting right. to like go to bed or whatever. <laughs> and, um, or if like we're at work and we're like, let's hang out, let's, after work, I'm like, cool, I'm gonna go home and change and then hit you and hang out with you. But if I had gone home, changed, washed my face, and then sat down and oh, I would have got no. lazy. I'm not getting out of my I ain't I'm, leaving I'm, my I'm, house. Yeah, I'm by. Mm -mm. And it just depends. Or sometimes maybe I do. And and it also depends on how much sleep I'm getting. You know I'm not fucking sleeping these last like a week or two. So I don't know. I'm a little, it's like, I'm a little emotional when I don't sleep. Like kind of, kind of irritated at stuff. I'm never, never annoyed at, or I don't know. It's just like, but when you are getting consistent sleep and I'm like, you know, kind of on a more consistent schedule. Yeah. Uh, planning doesn't, I'm kind of like, yeah, I'll be in the mood tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I already know, I know I'm going to be in the mood tomorrow. Yeah. But right now I'm a little like unpredictable because I haven't slept, slept in like a week. So, um, We've been, I don't know why it comes up. I wish, uh, we should have a discussion with the VC. We've been talking a lot about planning. Like there are people mm -hmm. on my voice chat who like, don't really understand the function of planning instead of going with the flow because they're like, well, plans can change. And I'm like, yeah, but you still want to have a plan Oh, or not. Well, yeah. But like, also, you know how I went to California to visit my bestie and New York too. We planned that like months advance and I was so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah i don't well, know i guess you... i can plan but like in general hanging out like the day-to-day -day hanging out i'm not sure like see that's why i don't know how to really answer your question i don't have a definite definite answer because i'm totally both bro i don't think you need i think you yeah, like yeah. based off your personality like i always tell people look i work a lot so that automatically makes it where i'm gonna have a limited amount of time to do anything because i'm mm. just like okay so if you work all day and then you have like three hours before bed how do you want to spend those three hours is always the question I ask myself every night. Like, what do I have energy for first? Then I start making a list of everything I want to do. So like today, okay, I already know what today is going to happen. We're going to do this live show. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do, you're going to leave eventually. I'm going to review my flagrant uh, part on the podcast, blah, blah, blah. Then uh, I'm going to end my live show. Then I'm going to go to the snares and make dinner because farm brother and his child is on the way here. Mm -hmm. And since we're hosting them, I have to make the bed because I already washed the bedding for them. But now I have to make the bed. Then I, then I have to like solidify dinner, make sure the house is all good to go. And then, bam, we're going to spend the whole night probably playing Smash and hanging out. Maybe it's stuff. also who I'm hanging out with. Because, like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. my best friend, I don't need to, like, mostly plan with that. Like, like rarely I'll be like, yeah, I don't really. No, not even really. You know, sometimes even with her, I'm just tired and she's, like, want to FaceTime. I'm like, 
honestly, I'm going to take a nap. Yeah. Because I'm not even going to be paying attention to you. And then I wake up and two hours later and I'm like, want to call her, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I will say with her or like, you know, my close friends, I really just like, yeah, of course I'll hang out with you. Or if it's a group, that for me, I need to be in the mood. Because (laughs) one-on-one for me is so much easier to hang out with someone. Mm -hmm. I kind of hate hanging out with, even if I love all the people there, if there's two or three, even three of us, I just kind of like... I don't know. Something changes and I like one-on-one better with my friends like all the time. But we hang out as a group too. But for some reason I get like possibly, I don't know if exhausted is the right word. I mean, maybe you're just introverted. <laughs> maybe. Because but... like the thing is, is um, it's kind of weird because um, I am the kind of person as an example. When I get into a relationship, I basically want to spend 99.9% of my time with my partner. Mm-hmm. Like my friends are great. But ultimately my partner is like the person i can bounce off every idea off of and then on occasion i want to get other people's opinions too but also like he on purpose will be as accessible to me as i need him to be versus my friends like they can't choose me over work it makes no sense for them to choose me over like their friends like or their plans or Mm -hmm. their but like your partner that's kind of the perk of being in a partnership in my opinion my relationship my relationship my relationship is that i feel like the perk of it is that we're like always going to choose each other and so we're always available to some extent not like literally like if he has plans or if i have plans like it is what it is i'm not going to ask him to cancel his plans for me but if he doesn't have plans yet it's like ooh, hang out with me you know what i mean he's the only person that i would want to be around 24 7 even you guys i love my siblings but even then i'm like love you i need a break i need a break i need a break yeah um it's even i don't know maybe too much of anyone i can't deal with even like you know, you know Jonathan Van Ness. Mm-hmm. I love watching. We love Jonathan. Him. But like, man, I watch like two YouTube videos or something, and I'm like, I'm out because <laughs> I'm exhausted by their energy. Yeah, it's like the personality type too, right? Now I will say this: my partner and I can't always be engaged. That's different. So I need to specify this because maybe this is a language issue. It's not that my partner and I. We do need breaks from engagement because I get tired and I'm like, I'm so sorry. I can't engage with this conversation, but I would love to still be in a room with you. But I can't like engage. You know how sometimes you try to come home and tell me stories, but you can tell I'm spacing out. It's like, yeah, I can't always like be actually engaged, but I wouldn't mind being in like the same room as my partner. I was just talking about that. That was you. I think it was someone else (laughs) I was talking about, but it's like, you know, kind of like when I got to get stuff done maybe if i'm alone like at home or in my room i'm like not motivated for some reason but if my best friend's working on her stuff and i'm working mm. on my stuff i'm like okay but, like i can like it's like co-work is what i heard it's called but like you know <laughs> I, I just for some reason have way more motivation sometimes when i'm working with someone in the same room on different things mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and i don't know man it's just kind of i like it or even just like yeah being quiet with my friends in you know, you know, sometimes people are, like, uncomfortable about silences, so they try to overcompensate Ugh. with talking. Mm. And I'm like, silence is really good. Or there's a silence, and, you know, there's, say, awkward silence or something. I'm like, not, it wasn't for me. Actually, my VC really on my Discord, so we have, like, a voice chat. You know how you can how I talk to people? You hear me talking to people sometimes? Yeah. Well, sometimes we call it the cult of silence. Like, no one will talk because one of the things on my VC we don't do is fill quiet space. If you have nothing of value to say, you don't have to talk. We can just wait. Yeah. And I think, guys, guys, I don't know the longest we've ever gone, but I know it's, I think it's over an hour, right? I'm just like, no one talking. Whoa. And we're all just waiting because we're all doing different things anyways on our computers. Yeah, it's like when there's no talking, I'm like, cool, I'll go back to my own thoughts, my own thing. Like, I'm not. Sometimes I'm... I watch YouTube videos in between. And then when I hear someone talk, I pause my video to be like, oh, is something interesting happening? Also, my brain, I feel like, never turns off. So it's kind of like there's always, like, a movie. Mm-hmm. Like, some people say they're bored. <laughs> I don't experience boredom. I have never fucking been bored in years. So I don't relate to people who say they're bored. Because when when I'm not, nothing's happening. If I'm just alone in my room, my thought plays. My whole day yeah. plays in my head. All the conversations I've had. Just, like, not bad way. But that's what I'm saying. Like, when I say, like, I could just stare at a wall. It's because, like, I'm just thinking of so many things. So yeah, I, I, I'm like daydreaming. I I d- like- yeah, I definitely want to give myself time. Ooh, like, what ifs. Oh, maybe that's why I like to plan things. Because I'm a what ifer. I'm like, ooh, what if this happens? What if this happens? What if this happens? And then I'm like, oh. And then I'm, like, kind of excited. And I feel more prepared and more, like, easier. Life gets easier when I consider all the possibilities, good or bad. And then that allows me to also take up time. So, yeah, maybe people who don't do the what if all the time, they have all this, like, extra time to hang out with somebody else. 
but I don't always want to bounce ideas off of every kind of personality yeah. either. Yeah. Like you also know, like when you're in the mood for a type of personality and like, if no one's accessible, like who better than just yourself? Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, literally. Um, that's why, yeah, even like in the, it kind of depends like, um, like, like how I was telling you the other day, you know how if I'm looking at my phone too much, like, for a week, mm -hmm. or too much, like, stimulation like that, and then when the phone turns off, sometimes I go crazy, mm. and I just, like, need to, like, listen to my music or anything. Like, <laughs> I tried to take a shower one week, and since I've been stimulating myself so much my phone, I literally got out of the shower soaking wet to get my phone when I thought I can leave it for 15 minutes charging just to play my music, and then, like... What... That's interesting. Yeah. I need a break. Sometimes I just need well, complete maybe silence. maybe it's because, like... I don't know. Sometimes when my th thoughts race, sometimes they're like stressful ones. So it's like, better about, to have noise. About my friends and the noise helps. Yeah, I but see But then that. when my, but when I'm chilling that week or month, like my thoughts are fun and they're like adventures and daydreaming and uh, curiosities and stuff. But sometimes I need the distraction. Do you think daydreaming has a play in planning? Because I do daydream yeah. a lot. Like I plan and then I think like, oh, you know how? Uh, my other friend and I are going to Disneyland in the summer. Cool, yeah. And, like, we... She's so bored. I swear. <sighs> she needs to learn how to entertain herself. See, well, I guess she Even is. Indiana exhausts me. So, I pet her every day, and then when I'm tired, like, today, I'm just like, dude, I'm, I'm like, stressed how much she wants to come near. Indiana is the neediest. But I love her, and I feel, I feel bad. She's energy. I love her. But that's the thing. She's like me. Like, I am so needy in a relationship, but only in a relationship. When it comes to, like friends and family i'm okay needy like with my siblings but i'm not like th as needy as when i'm in a relationship like i'm the neediest towards him like he's good luck to him but like okay so um um you know hold on i want to read some of these comments yeah what, okay. what? Go ahead. i was gonna say that's another thing uh about like we're relationships <laughs> and wanting to be with them all the time for me i'm like maybe i've just been alone so long i'm i've been so used to it Maybe when I get in one, I'll be the same. Or maybe when I meet someone, I'll actually feel like, oh, this is amazing. Now I just mm, want to be with you all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know. So. Yeah. Um, For what? Okay, let's see. Um, Izzy, love Izzy, says, what do you all think about the uh, propensity for extended adolescence in the queer community? I read a paper about it. I'll tell you. I read a paper about it. Uh, about it that connected it to the trauma of having to hide their queerness as teenagers. What do you think about the fact that queer people tend to have um, like a more adolescent energy? They stay young. They don't mature as fast. Like, do you think that's true in a lot of bubbles? Sure. But wait, like. Yeah, like they stay in their trauma. They're like, uh, like, and they just want to hang out. And oh, like, I think that, a lot of it. I hate that. I think, Is look, that... any child that doesn't get a chance to experience like their adolescence has a tendency to just do it when they're older. I don't think it's that deep. I think queer kids, it makes sense that they would do that. But also, like, if I came out as an older queer person, like, I would want to do all the things the young queer kids are doing, like, go to parades and do stuff. I was, I had the mm. luck of doing it in high school and more. Like, there was a queer club. We started one on yeah. campus. So I had the luxury of sort of being one of the pioneers. Yeah, I got that I out of my system. Like, when I was younger, I kind of, yeah. we did all that. And I'm just like, oh, this is not even, like, my default self. I was just kind of like, needing a community at the yeah, time trying needing, it like, out I belong and seeing if you like it but then <clears throat> i ended up having the feeling like you know no matter where i am i feel like i'm at home because mm. myself is my home totally and that's why every time i move states or anything i adjust in like five seconds because i'm like i don't know i i feel good anywhere camping anywhere camping somewhere i've never been before like do you ever miss like how seattle was so progressive uh no like it doesn't because i know but did you need it at a certain time? Because I needed it at a certain time. Oh, yeah, for sure. And then now I'm like, okay, good. I tried that. I mean, I thought I needed it. Yeah, I, I definitely needed to do all that stuff. It <clears> wasn't <throat> even that much, honestly. But, yeah, I don't think about my gayness anymore. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't... Like, yeah. It's not part of my identity. I don't... I don't... When someone's like, who are you? And they're like, I'm a this, this queer, blah, blah, person. I don't even say I'm a... You know, I'm like a Middle Eastern blah, blah, blah. I, I'm just like, I'm just Mark, dude. I have no, like. It depends on which bubble I'm in. So it depends on yeah. who's asking the question. Okay. So, like, I always say, like, um, OnlyFans, like, I'm, it's not my identity. It's just something that I do. YouTube is not my identity. I don't feel like a YouTuber. I just feel like it's something that I do because I like it. Mm -hmm. But some people are like, 
YouTubers. Like, that is their identity. Yeah. Like, Mr. Beast lives and breathes YouTube. He loves it. It is everything. Like, to the point where he will sacrifice, like, relationships for it. There are a few things that I will sacrifice relationships for. Mm. Like, like you know what I mean? I actually argue that relationships are more who I am than anything. Because, like, my home is where my people are. Yeah. And, like, my person can be one person. Like, I feel like my partner is there. Then my home is where he is. And he feels that way, too. Which is why... We're so bad at picking where we want to live because we don't care. But, like, other people, it's like, I'm a Miami. I'm Los Angeles. Like, 100% yeah. New York. I'm like, a Cali girl. I'm a Cali girl. So, like, everyone picks and chooses. Um, yeah, I was born in California. Like, it's funny because people uh, in my, they identify me with Seattle. Mm. Some girl I work with, um, she's like, how long were you in Seattle? I was like, oh, this last time I was, like, 11 months, not even a year. And she's like, what? I thought you were there for, like, five years. I'm like... Why do you think that? She's like, I just associate you with a Seattle man. Because that's like, I just thought, like, everything Seattle reminds me of you. I'm like, that's hilarious because I don't, like, associate myself with Seattle or California mm. or where we live. It's just like, you know. Um... I think some people, like, they choose their favorite sports team, their favorite anime, Ooh, their favorite. Oh, I hate that. I like... Honestly, I'm sorry. Sports, I'm th so off topic. But, but, like, hardcore sports fans where their whole house is that sports uh, team and – they know everything about it and they judge people who are like not about it. I'm like, I just, ooh, I've never been into that. It's just like a bubble, right? It's like yeah, the Catholic like house, a, the like yeah, yeah, yeah. anime house, the like I walk into people's house and it's all Marvel and I'm like, that's a decision to make. I'm curious. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, right. I'm curious what you would say because my answer would be pretty short. Like if someone's like, give me a summary of you. Like, or like, because of custom, like, like people at my work, like if they ask like, what, you know, what do you do for fun? What What are you all about? What would you say? Like, um, I'd probably say, um, I'd probably say something generic, like, uh, you know, all American family, friends, but I would give a fake answer. I would give like a superficial oh. answer. Well, what if someone you were just like on a first date with said, oh, okay, well then I'm, I would give pretty bubble answers too. And I'll say something like, Hey, like, you know, um, well, cause the first date is to eliminate them. Like the goal is to get them to stop dating me. Because they're not my person, right? So I would probably say something. Wait, why? why? I don't because when I go on a date, I'm not actually getting to know someone. I'm trying to see if we're even supposed to get to know each other. Oh, like the vibe? Something? Yeah, like you can ask someone, like right away, I'm not going to go on a second date with someone who's like religious. So right away, I'm like, are you religious? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Thanks for the date. Oh, yeah. You have like strong preferences. Like I have strong preferences. So I just want to get the date over with to see if I even want a second date. Yeah, I guess I don't really have a those preferences yet or maybe never will so i don't really have questions well, like that to you know like our other sibling who tends to date online the girl okay the only sister yes her sister okay. thanks for letting everyone know which one it was <laughs> oh, I, didn't know, I didn't know they know who that is well she's just like she dates like you date i think maybe like you guys are more open to like just dating to date like I'm and not, i don't, get I, don't it. I don't have an idea of what yeah my person i'm gonna love is like i'm just gonna feel it like it's when a feeling it's thing like you know i think she's the same way versus i'm not that way like, like I'm, I don't very... fall in love, I'm not gonna fall in love with someone who because i want someone to be a musician or super passionate <clears> about <throat> this or or like super lax or super serious or or a lot of money or a little bit of money like i have nothing deters me like that's just who they are, like, and I'll figure that out. Yeah. But like I said, maybe I'll have preferences later. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, if someone asked me that, I'd be like, right now, I guess. Like, I literally just, you know, I just enjoy every day. I just work, hang out with my friends, my family, and barely go on my walks in New York right now. And I'm alone. Like, that's what I do. I just, like, chill out every day. I Our family is very different than I think other families, maybe. Really? Because, know. like, <clears throat> everyone's freaking about this loneliness pandemic, epidemic, whatever. I don't even remember that pandemic. I don't even remember no, that. No, 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 you're not listening. You're thinking Sorry. about something else. A loneliness epidemic is oh, meaning that pandemic. society, <laughs> not the COVID pandemic, oh. the epidemic of loneliness, people are reporting, like, not feeling seen and being alone. But in our family... Like, eight of us aren't married. Maybe when I was, like, a kid, I really want, felt, like, alone. But, like, it's refreshing now. <laughs> Sometimes, like, being, I don't know, being alone and stuff. Well, like, you have friends. But do you have, like, red or die friends right now? Um, <laughs> like, people you think you'll know in your 90s. People you would trust your kids with. Like, people, or do you just have people that you're having a good moment with right now? Uh, Just one, I would say. Okay. That comes to my mind, yeah. 
Yeah. If anyone else, like, you know, we stopped talking or something happened and I don't know, it's really fragile relationships. I have some, like a few of them, like, you know, I can say one thing and if they drop me, I'm like, yeah, I get that. But like, I love you because that's who you are. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> that's the thing right like you i think like, <laughs> relationships friendships are like romantic relationship <clears throat> where like you have to decide are you actually asking this person to be your friend forever or just for this moment in time because if it's just for a moment we could have a lot of fun if it's just forever well that's a bigger commitment right that's like are you going to make time for me even when you're married when you have kids when your grandpa's sick when you're busy when your mortgage is going under when the economy is shattered like are you going to make time for your friends like that's the ask people mm-hmm. are giving. And so for me, that's why I have to have like inner circle, outer circle, yeah, yeah, because yeah. my outer circle friends like, no, you can't have priority when my life is like going upside down and my inner circle friends, like I might pause my trauma to come help you. Like for me, I, I kind of <clears throat> think like if I didn't, you know, if I didn't put in the work, what would happen? Mm. And uh, yeah, it's, I, I, I initiate a lot with a lot of my friends today, except for one of them, like my best friend, she, um, she will always like we miss each other just as much like it's mutual very yeah. very you guys have been friends so long yeah but sometimes like if i'm not feeling that social that week and i don't talk in our friend group chat right. no one no one fucking initiates anything i'm you with like, your other friends not with her but yeah with not other with, with the other friends yeah yeah so i don't know except <laughs> i mean one's the exception i guess he, he'll like reach out to me but no but like you know I also think it's just easier for me to negotiate. Which I don't think personally. I don't think that's bad. Right. No, at all. it's not bad. Or they mean anything or they're less important or anything. It's right. And it's like a. No, it's like what it's I told okay. my partner when we first started talking. I said, just please be yourself and let's form a relationship around what we can have versus what we want to have. So if you go into something saying, I want to date you, you're already like not allowing a friendship to occur or a lovership to occur. Like you're only allowing one option, which is fine. But that means we have to end things eventually right it's kind of like i'm open to seeing what happens but within a boundary so like if you say i want to go on a date with you well then this is going to be a date and i'm going to eliminate you really fast or not if you say we want to be friends okay cool let's see what kind of friends i can be like right now my inner circle is closed if you want to be closer to me like truly closer to me you're asking too much of me and i i don't Mm -hmm. consent But if you want to like once in a while talk once a year or maybe get a coffee, I'm open to those kinds of friends because I most likely will have one hour out of the year to talk to someone. Yeah, I guess for me, like I only hang out with. Oh, my God, I thought this was a bug. It was a fluff. I was like, what the... oh, my God, it looked like a bug. Too. Um, So for me, my best friend is from school, from mm. from middle school. So over 10 years ago. Yeah. Friendship. And my other friends of. All always been co-workers yeah so i get to know them at work first I like that people have asked me even recently they're like want to hang out i'm like uh we'll see i'll let you know honestly and because i'm filling you out at work first because i just need a few shifts with you to know it's going to be a yes or no uh and some people ask me and i'm just like i just say i'm just super not rude i hope but like i just i just say you know no i'm now yeah, I'm, I'm i'm just not feeling it they ask me why i'm like uh honestly i just you know like give my time to certain people and it's it's already filled up in myself so like you know i think people are also too afraid to ask for what they want I'm like maybe like, in a different life they'll hint it like well i like him so i'll hint at it or i want to be his friend so i'll hint at it versus just saying like hey how much time can you make for me are you interested in romance are you interested in friends should we be lovers oh but then some people don't want to be like that which is fine you don't have to do this yeah, method. That's totally fine. but like there are methods you can choose if you're the kind of personality that wants to do it like me like i'm, I'm very much like what are we doing here explain i'm pretty like out open like i tell people i love them or like them or don't you know, don't like them but i tell them all the time if i think someone's attractive i usually tell them even customers i literally say you're a 10 out of 10 just gotta say like depending on the vibe like if they will like me to compliment them or not i can just tell Mm -hmm. and it's always been good um and it's never awkward for me i'm never awkward even my coworker today uh i've never told he was so appreciative though that I, i i was like oh no you're definitely mad eye candy like every day and he was just like like laughing his ass off and appreciative but it's just like and then we talked about it and he was like that's so funny it's relevant like this just happened but he was just like you know i was like nerdy in high school or whatever i'm like well you did not peak in high school Mm. and he's just like he's like it's just refreshing for someone to be like casually just say that someone's attractive i wish we complimented people more like that 
And I'm just like, yeah, I've never cared. It's a hit cared. or miss. It's I, like... I'll never remember that I even said that until right now we're talking about it. But I didn't go home and be like, I told some coworker I thought he's hot. I'm like, I wasn't wanting anything from him. Mm-hmm. I was just complimenting him. Like, just like I compliment my other friends. Like, um, yeah. I, yeah. I kind of compliment everyone when I want to kind of see something I like. I'm like, I didn't verbalize this, but I really like, I really like that. I just didn't verbalize it. I was thinking that the other day or whatever, like whatever. I think that's the thing is like, we rely heavily. Our whole family does though. on like reading people and like trying to figure out what they need. So I think it allows us to kind of. But I feel like we could read it. I could read it really fast anyway. Like, right. Like I see so many times at work or in public or friends, socials. I'm like, how are you not reading these social cues? How do you not know that person's uncomfortable by that question? Well, that's how do you the not thing, know like... they want to leave? How do you not know they're, you are irritating that person? shut up bro like stop talking okay but we're not always perfect at it because i yeah, think for sure yeah, like whatever. that's the thing is you have to be open to making the mistake what's lagging am i lagging I'm saying in general probably we have a snow snowstorm oh, oh but this one coworker, she just everyone knows her as a blabber you know she just like word vomits everywhere it says the same shit she's going through to every single person walking mm-hmm. in the room so i was getting stressed on this this is why i'm like i just i try to be honest with everyone and tell them straight up um but I was literally like, I'm not going to name any names or anything, but I was like, Lynn, I swear to God. Um, mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm not listening to you because if you can't see that I am have a headset and I'm talking to customers while I'm doing dishes, you know, anyway. But I'm like, Lynn, I'm not listening to you. But if you want to talk to the air, you feel free. But I am running back and forth. Yeah. And she literally said. Oh, I know you're not even listening. I'm just literally talking to you. And I was like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. You were wasting my fucking time like that. So you do read the social cues, but you're a bitch and just use people as a, as an ear. Like you're not even wanting to get to know me or talk to me. Yeah. But she literally, so I ran back to the back or whatever and back and forth. I'm, I'm walking away. I hear her still talking and I come back and she's at the end of her story. She was talking to the air. Literally talking in there. And I was like, damn. And then she told me, like, you know, I can tell all the time, like, people are getting really frustrated with me. And they're just so mad, but I keep talking. And I'm like, Mental you do? health. Like, is that a mental you health do? issue? Well, she has some fucking issues. But don't we all? Yeah, right. But, like, you know, she literally told me. Sorry, this is so horribly off topic. But she was just like, you know what? I know that I'm turning into Carlos when I start to pee standing up. Because she came back from her, she has multiple, I don't know, she has like these personalities, which is totally a lie, I feel like. But she came back from her break, and she's like, oh my god, I was turning into Carlos, because, her name's Lynn. But she's like, I turned into- Why are you saying people's names? Fuck it. It's rude, I'm on the internet. Fuck, it's a first name. There's a billion Lynn's and a billion Carloses. That's fine. Plus, there's also, I forgot what the girl's name. (laughs) But they're- But she has like personalities? Mm, That's what I mean. She's dead, but I don't believe it. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say- we all have problems. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we all have mental health problems. So when we're socializing, we're like, I feel alone. It's like, well, are you connecting with people who can see you, who can understand you? Like, I don't date people who don't understand mental health. Like, I am a mentally ill person. My partner mm. has to deal with a lot of my, like, my anxieties and my looping and, like, talk. You know what I'm saying? Like, we literally spent New Year's, like, filling out doctor work paperwork because I can't do it. And so he he, like, sat down with me and, like, helped me do it. Because I just, like, it takes so much of my spoons and just having someone there who's like, do it, Brittany, is so helpful. But again, it's like, in order to be humanized, you have to humanize yourself, know your needs, and then pick the right people to cater to those needs. If you don't, you just become an emotional vampire. You leech on everyone. And then you feel constant rejection. And then you're like, no one wants to love me. Well, you're also picking the wrong people. You're picking the wrong people to love you. Good point. Like, that's why I'm saying dating should be about eliminating the wrong people from your life. And then by doing that, you can find the right people. But if you say, see, your way of dating gives me anxiety. Because Uh I know for a fact if I asked you, like, like, uh, if we went through it, like a checklist, like, would you date somebody who's like this? Like, would you date someone? And you're like, yeah, I'm kind of open. I don't think that's fair to the people you're dating. Because they're asking you. Hey, can you get to know yourself well enough to know if you can handle this? Because if you make me fall in love with you, now you're just going to break up with me in two years. Like if I say, um, would you like, do you have the spoons to handle someone who's paralyzed or someone who has cancer? And you're just like, yeah, but then it happens and you can't handle it. It's kind of like, yeah, maybe you can't predict that much about yourself, but you should maybe do something so you can figure it out before you make promises to people. Yeah. Like I do. I like some, some stuff I'm like, <clears throat> yeah, I, I do have preferences. Like for example, like. I can't, I'm never going to date someone 
who like is not in tune to nature at all because mm. like if you're like because you know i have had a, like a crush on a guy and he hates going outside he hates camping and that's totally okay like for my friends i don't mind but i don't want to fall in love with someone like that right only because that's a big part of who i am so right. i don't know like i need someone to connect on some type of level with like animals or nature or something like that great because... example great example because like yeah for sure like my partner and i are both like chronically on our computers and yeah so like um... i think i don't remember what we were talking about one time though i think it was like living on a boat it was something outrageous like what if we lived on a boat and traveled the ocean i was like that'd be so cool hey okay, wait we're just like yeah, bullshitting, yeah, yeah. right because, like, I don't want to leave this and house. It's, I'm, not, I'm not saying at all if you're not into the nature at all. Because sometimes I never want to fucking go outside. I want to be inside all day. Right. So I'm not saying that's bad at all. Right. I just want that because I want it. Right. I want to go outside with my... Uh, that's what I daydream about. Like, yeah, going like on I'm not, hikes with Like, them. I'm not a city person. If I'm not going to date someone or marry someone who, like, loves New York City. Yeah. Like, why would I do that to them? Why would I torture that person mm -hmm. and be like, yes, I'm I'm not open to it. I'm a very close-minded person. Or, for example, <laughs> okay, yeah, here's another preference I have. I can't, uh, I don't want to date someone who just is intoxicated every day, all day. Like, totally. doing nothing. Yep. Uh, yep. Like, um, you just want to sit on the couch for real? Like, mm -hmm. can we, I don't know, I, I do want to make plans and go on trips and yeah. and do stuff, like. Mm -hmm. i'm not just trying to like waste Ugh, see it's like it's, but if okay. you do want to waste it that's okay like, yes if you just so want like, to sit down too, this is what but... i mean by gay judging we're like judging because we have to make a preference but we're not condemning so we're saying for me that's a waste of a life but for you that's your joy so i'm not trying to judge yeah the fact that you find this helpful and there are some days where i do want to be high all day on my for couch sure. for sure but I just don't want that for my love life. It's and, not a lifestyle. Yeah. Like, like, I don't get high during the day usually unless I'm not working at all. And I usually get high at night now. But before, I was getting high every day. And it was, like, definitely a different lifestyle. But I can't be successful at my job and be high all you day. You know what? Because my job requires me to be sober. Since, like, October, I've only smoked once one day. But I was, when I was getting high every day all day, like, years ago or whatever i kind of thought like i would not date myself so i'm gonna chill out and stop this because i know it's like too much of anything could be bad for you you know yeah and i already knew like you know i would just have a bad habit and it's like i'm hooked right now you know but i'll get out of it eventually and i did but it's just like you know i remember being like i'm not dating anyone right now because i wouldn't date myself like this like yeah why would someone want to date some stoner boy like who's high all day unless that's what they were looking for honestly then it's good for you know you do you Google. yeah that's great and that's what like, i'm trying to say is like for every like andrew tate there's a woman who wants to date andrew tate right for every like extra religious person there's a person who wants to date them you have to find the right people that actually want to live the lifestyle you want to live or date somebody who's as spontaneous as you are. I just know for me, because I want long-term cohabitation and the possibility of kids, I need stability. But also for my own anxiety, like, I need it. Like, I'm a very anxious person. Um, when, like, big decisions are being made, I want to make sure we're on the same page and want the same thing. Like, I know friends who don't ask their partners if they're on birth control or have been, like, STI yeah, tested. Yeah, that's crazy. Versus me, I'm like, hi, let's go get tested together. Let's make sure I have birth control. I, like, want my, toucher to, yeah. my partner to feel the birth control inside of me because like i want them to know that i care about their safety that me like taking my birth control or like having my rod in is me looking out for my partner but then some people have such faith in their partners that they're like i trust them to make the right decision but again i can't do that because you know like you know those stories you hear where there's some i just want to be able to say i did everything in preparation to the best of my ability so I know that within my best of ability, it is asking my partner, hey, babe, were you able to go to the doctor to get your birth control? And I just want to know what's going on with my partner's bodies. Like, how do you feel today? Are you having an extended period because you're on your birth control, mm -hmm. i.e. my life? <sighs> I've been bleeding like 20 days out of the month. It's insane. So like, again, like my partner should know that because it's causing hormonal changes in me, which is causing me to be more emotional. So I need him to be aware of my, my decisions. So he's uh -huh. not just reassured we're not going to get pregnant, but he actually knows like, Hey, I think your birth control is acting up. And I'm like, oh, damn, that makes a lot of sense. I have a, one of my friends is like, <laughs> I don't know. For me, I she said hypothetical dating questions like we are now because I've never done it. But she's like, if you were like, how would you be like, would you be open? I'm like, 
yeah like i'll answer any question i like to share about myself you know whatever Mm -hmm. and i want to hear about them i i'm really i i ask a lot of questions okay even with my friends like when i hung out i hung out my friend like yesterday for we we got food and we barely touched our food because we were talking for over three hours and then i took a bunch of leftovers home because we were just talking so much but um my friend likes to keep things secret for months because they like surprise element and they don't want to just give themselves away right away. But I'm like, nope, I just kind of want them to know me right away. Like even even people I meet, like customers, like I, I don't know, we, I connect a lot with like my customers a lot. I don't know. I just like talking to them and getting to know them and kind of like, oh, that's interesting. Like you live your life so different. And but I feel like most people I meet. I'm, I'm like the same. I'm like completely myself. And mm. it's kind of like, I don't know. Everyone gets the gist of me, I feel like. But my friend didn't tell her boyfriend she's da- she can cook for like three months. And just so she can surprise him. And she was like, so she just she just started cooking. He's like, you can cook? She's like, yeah. Like as a like <laughs> surprise. But, I, but also she brought up the point. He never asked me. I feel like I that's cook. like fishing for compliments. Well, maybe. Yeah, that's kind of like it. what I thought. But she's like, well, he also never asked me if I could cook. But I'm like, I would have just volunteered that information within the first three months of dating someone. I would have been like, oh, I love to cook. That's what I'm saying. Like, I think I'm too old now to wait three months to find out. It's just like, hey, That's what can you do? That's a long time to not What are you know capable you of? Food. But also, like, you know, again, different stages, like, of life. Like, I'm in my yeah. 30s now. I'm ready for kids. I'm ready for a settling down. I'm ready for marriage. Like, I'm really ready. So I need that person to just be like, yeah, I can't cook or I can cook. Cool. Let's, like, talk about what that looks like. If you're the stay-at-home partner, you should, you best learn how to cook because I don't eat frozen food, bitch, or fast food. Like, if I, if I worked a hard-ass day and then you bring me McDonald's, I'm going to kill myself. Just on principle. I get that. You know what I mean? But then again, everyone likes to date at their own pace. So whatever you do is good as long as it serves your joy. But again, stop dating people that it's like the fuck boys that want to trick the girls into sleeping with them. And they don't want to just date the sluts because it's no fun. There's no like there's no thrill of the game. And I'm Mm -hmm. like, you guys are all self-sabotaging in so many weird ways. But like you do. you. Well, it's a whole different world. Like it's a whole different kind of person that that's really popular oh wait we watched a video did we react to a dating video like a girl um talking about the dating game yeah we did we did and it's like a big thing she's like dating is horrible i'm like no your dating bubble is weird um and they all play games and shit i don't like the games like if you want to flirt or whatever like that's there's a lot of different types of flirting but like whatever that's fine that's the thing is like people play games they're like um uh, like, a, don't call her after three days or, like, do this. And I'm just, like, very blunt. That shit and is... I'm so blunt. I, I just, just text when I, I do want. what I want when I and want. And if it's annoying or frustrating, like, we're not a match. Yeah. Like, I've done that with so many guys and girls where, like, they just stop texting me back. I'm like, okay, they're not texters. I'm done. Thank you. Yeah. I'm needy. I want my person to yeah. want to text I'm me I'm also going to let... So, so you, you told... You said earlier in this video, like, you know, for me, it's not fair to the person I'm dating because they might yeah. fall in love if I don't. But that's why <clears throat> when I'm start going to date someone, I'm going to tell them I don't know what I like or not. So I'm going to figure it out. If you're down to figure it out with me, cool. Let's date. But, like, mm. don't expect anything because what if I'm just, like, not uh, – yeah, don't expect me to talk to you every day or don't expect me to not talk to you every day. I don't know what I'm going to be like. So if you're down to figure that out, that's super cool. Shower says, do you think it can be healthy to date someone that challenges your beliefs? Uh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, friends, I, too. Yeah, I think friends that's great too. friends. Like, uh, and... but, but in good faith, like wanting to get to know you more, not like not I, trying to convert you. Or right. Like I couldn't date somebody who's like, I can't wait for my partner to be different gross but i did that in my 20s like i dated for people's potentiality or i said like oh i can't wait for you to reach this mile mark so like you become this person oh you're like i can't wait till you're less of an asshole but now i'm like you know what i'm just gonna date someone who's like i get you know i said something my partner was telling me this morning that sometimes when i talk it sounds confusing to people like if i say i don't want to date someone in their 20s who doesn't know what they want people might hear i don't want to date someone in my 20s because all people in their 20s don't know what they want but that's not true because he's in their twenty, his 20s and I date people in their 20s all the time. Yeah. But what I mean to say is I need you to be at a certain place in your life that allows you to actually know why you want to marry me versus I'm young and inexperienced. You seem cool. This mm. seems temporary. Like I need you to understand that I plan to be a teammate with my person and that I plan to not get divorced and we are going to like go through life together. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm kind of curious 
because like I'm, it's weird that I don't know. It's kind of a kind of weird not knowing, like knowing that you don't know something about yourself. Because like when I look at you, I know that you do know what you want, and you like have like you just like know what's up. But for me, I'm curious if I would love someone who do I like? Do I want someone who's open minded and kind of mm-hmm. like me, where I'm like I'm always open to everything. I'm never gonna be like I know I'm right for sure. Yeah, like. Uh, like, yeah, like, I, I feel like I'm, I'm, like, really spiritual right now, and I'm, like, praying and stuff, but could no God exist? I'm still open to that. I'm not, like, hardcore, like, yeah, I get all these signs from the universe and stuff, but there's still, like, yeah, I could totally be wrong. What if we're, mm. like, fucking, you know, we're just, our human brain's really powerful, and we're creating, like, things we want to see. Whatever the explanation is, I'm still open to the fact that I'm, like, wrong, and that's why I'm, like, kind of at peace with that. I'm, like, yeah, I, I don't get mad at anyone's beliefs really because you know to each his own but or do i want to date someone who's open or do i want to date someone who's like thinks they're completely right Mm -hmm. like or will that annoy me i'm kind of like curious to find out am i going to be annoyed if they just think they're completely right and won't budge or will i be like that's okay like they think that and i completely accept that we're we're different in that way and that doesn't bother me at all yeah i think i need someone who's really open-minded oh really but what about the religion but has very strong boundaries around what they end up believing in. So, like, I wouldn't mind... Like, I'm open to the idea that God could be real, but, like, I can't live my life like he is because I don't believe in that. So I need someone who also is open to aliens and God and magic and all this stuff being real, but we can't live our lives like it is real. Mm -hmm. I can't be with someone who believes in God when there's... It's a belief. It's Mm -hmm. a choice. Mm -hmm. I think belief is a choice. So you're believing like, I and feel you're like picking that it, lifestyle. It's always kind of like, I don't know, like healthy skepticism <clears throat> is kind of a good thing in my head. But like, I don't know. People say blind faith is great and it sounds good. But mm-hmm. I still think healthy skepticism, something something about that sounds like. Well, again, I think it depends on your goals. Some people like when life, like, like when shit hits the fan, they're like, oh God, it's going to get me through this. And I'm more like, I'm an evolved animal over time. So, of course, this would happen. Like, who cares? Oh, yeah. I still totally, like, pray. And I'm, I, I, I'm like, you know, like, angels are watching me or helping me through this totally. Like, that's what I say. But the thing is, like, even though I know I can be wrong, you know, it still makes me feel good. And it totally helps. So, like, <laughs> why would I not do that? But that saying your way also helps you. So, that's why it's fine i just feel like you should go towards the way that helps you but if you're a person who doesn't know yet then like dating gets you there like participating and trying it out gets mm-hmm. you there but like it's not like people aren't trying to date you so why don't you get into relationships with people just to test it out me yeah um it's not it's it's not because you know what you want yeah honestly because i know in five seconds because there's people that's I'm what talking. i'm saying so you keep saying i don't know if i would like that but you know enough not to it's like people what i said is like i know the feeling so like that it's like not <clears throat> it's not what they're saying well it, i guess it is it's kind of like i don't trust them maybe like i like these only two two co-workers that i was involved with one of them i was like so questioning like I'm, i don't know and i know that i'm the type of person who has to think and sleep on every decision because i don't know like i have to like think about it for a while to know Mm. and i told him that and once we started talking more i'm like wow i feel that you are like a bad vibe man Mm. like i'm so dead set like you're just untrustworthy person Mm -hmm. so i ended up saying no to him and even though he said i'm super so you want someone who's trustworthy yeah and he said oh yeah that's a big thing for me so you're right yeah but he said i'm i'm really mature and if you say no like you don't think i'm attractive or whatever that's totally okay i'm great and since i got a bad vibe from him that you're a liar I said no to him very respectfully. He made all this drama and quit and moved. And I was like, and literally what I thought was going to happen, because I didn't trust your words that you said you were mature. So anyway, um, but with another guy. But does the maturity even look different to other people? Uh, Maturity? What do you mean? Like, yeah. Like some people think lifestyle is a maturity. Like, oh, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like dancing on a, 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 a pride float. Could be an immature moment in a very mature person's life. Am I life. talking about emotional maturity? What am I talking about? Either or, yes. Like, the thing is that... Um, I feel like people who lie are immature, but maybe that's not even the right word, maturity. So many people lie. I know it's gross, but like... um, But the thing is, since I was a liar as a kid, it's like, I can literally count the lies on my hand that I told in 2022. Because, like, I, I, I don't know. There's not too many because I usually don't. 
And when I do, I, I feel really guilty. So I'm not saying that's a flex or anything because it's really crippling sometimes. It's not a good. So maybe it's like, you know, I need to get over that. But like, I maybe that's why I hate liars so much because I was one. So it's like, if you are, it's such, such a turn off. Even as a friend, people say they're not going to do something and they don't do it. I'm like, just buy. Like, I, I'm so over it. Like, I can't deal with that. Like, I don't know. So you want consistency. Yeah. You want like reliability. So I would say like yeah. trust and loyalty are a requirement of mine, um, yeah. which is why I like people who like have a distinct personality that requires them to want to plan towards a goal. Like I want a person who says, let's buy a house. And then actually we start making the effort to buy oh, the house yeah, yeah. versus wait, when I dated Seattle guy or other Seattle guy, mm -hmm. they were always like, let's buy a house. And then I would like do all this work to prepare to buy a house. And then they were just like, oh, wait, are we really buying a house? And I was like, like, I want someone who's very serious about, like, let's live frugally, let's buy a house, let's, like, take this next step forward. Yeah. Um, Especially since I suck with money so bad. Like, I just really, I'm still learning how to balance a checkbook here. Like, I'm still really learning how to do it. I would love a partner who's, like, very goal-oriented and very, like, not type A, because I'm not type A. I don't think he is either. But, like, somebody who can, we can choose a path and, like, actually execute. Yeah. Not just dreamers. I hate dreamers. So, like, like, what a waste of time. Like, I think at the beginning, like when I say I don't have preferences, I do. I just don't talk about this stuff enough or even think about it because I don't really, like crave a relationship every day. It's like not really on my mind, you know, I would totally love one. But since I would have to literally, literally write a list and be like, OK, these things are. But, you know, now that we're talking about it, I'm like, well, of course I do have preferences. Right. And I do. I really do. But I only said that because I just haven't thought about them yet. Well, that's what happens to most people. So. That's what I'm saying. I spend so much time thinking about what I want. That's the only way I know what I want. Yeah. So, like, of course, like I've out done of that. friends, I mm -hmm. completely know what I want out of friends. Mm -hmm. But relationships, mm -hmm. I don't know what I want there. I can't even like imagine one. Like, it's hard to imagine someone in your life every day that you're intimate with. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to it's hard to imagine it. But my friends, everyone I know, knows that. I hang out with people. If I'm hanging out with someone, I like them. Like, mm. no one, everyone knows I wouldn't be somewhere that I don't want to be, especially like this past year of my life, because I just am not like a people pleaser anymore. Right. And it feels really refreshing to be seen as that. Like, it mm. shows that I know what I want and shit. Yeah. And my friend literally said I have a superpower the other day. He's like, You never do shit you don't want to do. Like, even though it's like maybe not socially, like, it comes off rude or something. I don't think it's rude when I don't want to hang out with my group of friends when they were super excited to invite me over. I'm just like, oh, no, like, I don't want to go over. Yeah. Or if one person there is I don't like them and they're going to ruin my vibe, I don't go. Because, mm -hmm. like, sometimes I'm really sensitive to people. Also not a flex. It's, like, bad and good. But, like, I don't know. Some people will just, like, ruin the vibe. And I'm like, I just want to be with my friends. But one other person is there. I'm not, I don't want to go. Like, my friend, for example, he invited me to dinner. And invited all his other friends. And I'm like, dude, I want to be your friend. I don't want to be friends with exactly. your friends. Exactly. Exactly. I don't like your friend. People don't understand <laughs> this. I try to explain this to people all the time. Like, I like you. I don't need to like your girlfriend or boyfriend or be friends yeah. with your partners or be friends yes. with your friends. Like, it's nice if I meet them. But, like, I don't want to be close to them. Like, this isn't. But when I was younger, I thought, how nice if we're all, like, close and we're all friends. But, like, I don't need that anymore. I just want. Because I only have so much room. So, like, even if, like, one of my best friends marries somebody, I don't, I have no, like, thought that, like, oh, or even if my partner, like, I was telling my partner, hey, like, I have an open door policy with, like, farm brother. So, farm brother might just come over and, like, visit. And he was, like, do I have to socialize? I was, like, no. He's, like, great. And, like, why would he have to socialize? It's yeah. my brother. Like, he can get to know my brother and like him. But if he's not mentally mm. prepared to have him drop by all of a sudden, I would never want him to feel obligated to then entertain the way I would. Cause that's my joy. My yeah. joy is being like, oh, the kids are here. Let me make food for all of you. Yeah. Versus his joy is more like planned events. So he knows he's going to socialize. And like, again, I like that too. Just not with certain people, certain people I'm okay with, but most people I'm not. Most of my friends, I'm not okay with them just dropping by. Yeah. Only inner circle. So my best friend, I was visiting her in California for like a week or two. And mm. I don't need to be with her the whole time. I won't be mad. I'm so happy that she has other friends. Like I said before, she's like really into fashion and I'm not. So the fact that she has those friends, she can connect yeah. and that talk about, I'm like, I'm so happy she has those friends because I can't be that person. So her girl girlfriend came over and they just came in for a second and left. I literally stay, I was like, cool. I'm going to lock myself in the room and take a bath. I didn't even meet her friend Yeah. because 
we both know we won't like each other's friends, but we love each other to death. Oh, And yeah. we are so okay with that. One of my friends, um, I love her. Like, I love hanging out with her. But one time, she tried to introduce me to one of her friends to be like, you guys should hang out. You're kind of living in the same area. And I told her, I was like, I just, I don't want to be friends with anyone but you. <laughs> like, your friend's probably really mm. nice. But, like, tell your friend I'm not interested. I don't need more friends. I, like, chose you specifically because, like, the person you are, I like. But, like, I don't want to be friends with your friend. You yeah, know? and it's sometimes, like, some people are like, I hate when people are like, oh, you'll love this person. I'm like, will I, though? Will I, though? No, because I never will do. Will I? Well, I'm sorry, but, like, people, I, I I don't know. You know, like you said, there's levels of friends. Like, for example, I don't know. I have, like, three, four, five, like, five friends at the most right now. And, mm-hmm. like, one of them is, like, my bestie forever. Um, But, like, even saying I love you, I can totally say I love you to a stranger. Yeah. I can say I love you to my friends or my family. And it's all, like, different types of love. Of course. And I don't feel awkward or anything. But when someone I don't like says they love me, I hate them even more for some reason. Totally. I'm like, no. And I never, ever say it back. I'm all, I am say thanks sometimes. I'm like, cool. You want to? Okay, cool. I'll see you later. Mm-hmm. And it, I, just, I just can't, man. I'm sorry. I can't. Travis wants to know, what is the dating advice you think all young men should hear? Anything specific? Or things you guys uh, learn the hard, or you guys, wait, or things you think guys learn the hard way. Be yourself. Wow, thanks, Gene. Gene. I think the question is always, like, not to be such, like, a philosophy nerd about it, but kind of. Like, I think you should first decide, like, what you think you're doing on the planet. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Like, do you think you're, like, a gift from God? Choose someone who's, like, religious to date. If you think, like, you're just an evolved animal (laughs) over time, get ready, boo, because you're in for a hell of a dating, like, journey. Because, like, you have no, you know what I mean? Like, if you're Catholic, go on CatholicMatch.com. If you're Christian, go on Christian Mingle. If you're, you know what I'm saying? Like, dating is about the why. Why do you want to date? Why do you want to get married? Why do you want to have kids? Like, why do you want to do anything? And then figure that out and then try to find partners that are also similar or acknowledge that you like to date opposites and do that too. But I could never. Like, I just could never. It's not going to happen. I want someone consistent and similar to me. So, again, we can make, like, you know, similar discussions the, or I, decisions. I asked earlier, what if I – do I want someone who's hardcore in their beliefs or, like, open? You know, I'm thinking about it right now and I'm thinking about, like, you know, you know, people in India or have their hardcore beliefs and their rituals and stuff. And they believe it's so hard, but I don't. So I feel like there would be too much of a big disconnect for mm-hmm. me. And I don't I don't think I can do that. Yeah. Yeah. Great example. Like, I couldn't, like, I genuinely. I would feel kind of offensive. <laughs> Almost like I feel bad. Like, they probably would want you to, too. And you're like, I'm never going to be this involved in Or you would always be looking at your partner, like. Because, I, well, I also was like, maybe they're, <laughs> um, maybe they're okay with it. And they're like, no, you don't have to. We can be different in that. I just doing my beliefs or whatever. But that's not, then they're not the hardcore that I'm talking about. Ah, exactly. But we'll see, the internet doesn't agree with this. Like, there was what? this interview okay. where there's like, gay pastor, ask me anything. I was like, what's it like belonging to a fake made up church in the modern times? <laughs> yeah, um, right? Because, like, if you're really religious, where are you getting that religion from? Who started yeah. it? The guy 2,000 years ago that was anti-women and gays? Yeah. Like, who are you getting your religion from? And I feel like if you truly And if you're believe... making it up now, don't you think you're certifiably insane for starting a religion in the 21st century? Like, isn't that insane to start a religion now with the internet and Google and Pornhub? Like, don't you think it's kind of strange now to start a religion? Crazy. But, like, people are doing it every day. Like, I could not. Imagine I come home and my partner's like, we have three new parishioners. I'd be like, I'm going to kill myself. Uh, yeah, honestly. I'd be like, okay, you guys do your thing. Like, it's just, like, whatever. But, like, again, if you want to be a modern Christian who plays guitar and has, like, gay lesbian pastors and you're making up your own religion and you're having fun. And choos- picking and choosing, like. Picking and well, choosing, everyone, like, what you like. Yeah, that's, like, been said since childhood. Picking like, and choosing. Go ahead. Have fun, I guess. But, like, that's the thing. is like, I want someone who picks and chooses, like, what um harness I'm going to wear. Like, not, like, <laughs> not, like, you know what I mean? Whether or not, like, we think we're, like, a, a voice for Christ. Crazy yeah nope yeah it's mm, like i think maybe that's why our families like irritated me in the past because you know i've been told like oh if you don't um spread the religion you're sinning but i'm like you're not knocking on anyone anyone's door catholics don't knock on doors catholics don't knock on doors it's yeah because like catholics know how obnoxiously annoying it is like i think it's right? annoying like nobody fucking wants to talk to you bro we're just but, not- yeah <laughs> but i have talked to catholics who are like you need to get over that and god wants us to and blah blah Ooh. I have, oh, um, families I live with. Let's, oh, 
The best Catholic I don't want to is the Catholic who minds their own fucking business. Okay? Like, mm -hmm. don't be like those people who knock at doors. Like, annoying. Yeah. Mm -mm. That's what that's what our brother said. Farm brother. No, no, no. Farm brother believes no, you he preach said don't. through... Yeah, yeah. He said kind of like family and friends. Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. You preach through, like, living or, or the like, life. Or, not, like, by knocking Or you never doors. hide it and stuff. Right. Like... Don't hide it. Don't be ashamed. But don't bother people. My yeah, God. Nobody yeah. wants to hear from you, bro. Exactly. So I think it gets down to that. Again, I don't want to be with somebody... Um, who like you know there's just different kinds of people in the world. No, you know maybe maybe I don't like anyone who tries to try to change everyone else because mm. you know like you say everyone's on their own journey and there's different right. bubbles. It's like why are you trying to change them when they're in their bubble? Like just let it be and not don't because they secretly think that they're the right bubble and everyone should be like them. Yes, I, making yeah. them like everyone I hate else. It. Everyone thinks that everyone's annoying as fuck. Yeah, everyone always thinks they're right. Ugh. Okay, wait. Travis says, do you think uh, you can date someone whose friends don't like you? I agree with the idea that you can choose someone to be a part of your main cast without taking their own uh, own circle per se. I think I, could, I couldn't I could date somebody. Like, look, even my wedding that I want to happen eventually, whenever that gets to happen, whenever we really, like, mm -hmm. have the formal proposal and I have my ring on because, girl, I don't have no ring on this finger. But it's coming. You know what I mean? Like, we already talked about it. We're very modern in our relationship. I don't want my sister to come to our wedding because she's like not very excited that it's rushing. Oh, like she feels like it's happening too fast, even if it happens within a year. Even though, wait, can I even though this? farm brother, yeah, 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 don't say names. My mic will pick it up. Like you whispering is not helping you, Middle Eastern. I didn't whisper. Did you hear me? Yeah, I, the I mic lipped, heard. The I mic will. I no, you, you didn't. You said it. Oh my bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like basically, um, my sister's like kind of hesitant. So that negative energy cannot come to my wedding. That doesn't mean I can't like love my sister and she doesn't love me. But I either need you, like, on board in the relationship or not a part of it to some extent. Like, I don't feel a reason to bring him home to meet people who aren't, like, on board with me being in love and happy. Because, like, what's the point? I don't need your negative energy. But I also respect the fact that you have that opinion and that you need space mm -hmm. and time to come to terms that people live differently than you. Because that's really what's happening is that you're not accepting that people live differently. And because you can't accept that, you feel like it's a red flag. But instead, you should go into that person's bubble and say, okay, within their value system, is this a red flag? Because it'd be different if I was, like, moving my partner in, like, doing stuff that is very um, against Brittany's values, then it should be a red flag. Then you should be saying, hey, Brittany, you're doing something out of character. But if it's not out of my character, and now I'm just doing something that you don't agree with, like, I don't need your opinion mm -hmm. or your energy near like me. Like, going from, <clears> like, <throat> kind of this... Are you going, Hold on. on. But if your partner's friends actively hate you, talk shit on you, talk bad about you, you either need new friends or you need to evaluate your partner. Something is wrong. Either your par your friends know you well enough to support you in your decisions. Like, you know what I mean? Like, my sister's not, like, actively trying to destroy my relationship. She's just like, hey, I'm a little, like, worried, right? Which is, like, different. But if she was actively, like, picking at my relationship, I would cut her the fuck out and be like, I love you. I'll talk to you in, like, a year when you're, like, out of this bad attitude. But she wouldn't do that because she knows I'd cut her out. Not permanently. Just, like, obviously you need a break, sis. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go. So, like, if my boyfriends, if the, I understood the question correctly, it's, like, if they don't like me, the, his friends. Yeah. Like, in, in general, I'm, like, I don't need to be friends with my my person's friends. I'm, like, you guys go have your, have your friends night, whatever. Yeah. Do your thing. And then I'll see you when you get home. That's great. Like, you have your own friends, whatever. I probably would want to hang out with my friends without my partner. I'm not really sure yet. But anyway, um, if they hated me for no reason, sketch as fuck. Sketch as fuck. If maybe I can be really insensitive sometimes. And I'm really good at, I try to be good at admitting when I'm wrong. Mm -hmm. So maybe if I did say something really insensitive to them and they were just super offended and they don't like me, I'm like, valid. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Like, that's okay if you don't want to come around me. But you're friends with my, my man. I accept that. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not going to take that personally because, like, I was rude. So, whatever. If they're if they're offended, I don't think I would take that personally. Mm. I don't want my partner to not be friends with them or anything. Maybe if, yeah, whatever. That's their thing. But if I did absolutely nothing, I would be like, this is weird as fuck. I didn't do anything that you, why would For you? For sure. Well, then you would assume, like, sabotage or, like, or like maybe, jealousy. I don't or... know. Is it valid to say, what if they were just like, I just don't like your vibe? maybe that's the well that's reason. fine but like just don't hang out yeah hating maybe if you don't like me that's fine but if you hate me that's so random i know for like, a fact my partner is gonna be fine socializing with my friends on occasion but i wouldn't expect him to love my friends the way i love my friends because he wouldn't have chosen to be friends with my friends necessarily uh -huh. and i have lots of different kinds of friends True. like i have people that i would absolutely want to come over that do not need to socialize with him they don't even need to meet him like just because i they know me doesn't mean they need to know him 
But I think there's like a, when I was younger, I had this like dream that all my friends would be friends with each other. All my, my oh. boyfriend would be friends or my girlfriend would be friends with all my yeah. friends. But as I've gotten older, I've realized like, nope, I have different friend groups. Dude. Do, okay. So I did have like a group, like those same four people I was talking about. Mm -hmm. Like we all were a group and now they all hate each other. But I'm like always chilling. I'm like, I like you and you knew. I I had I don't understand. In my head, I totally daydream all of us hanging out together, but it's never gonna happen. I think we're the our whole family is nomadic too. I feel like our fa our family goes into friend groups, and friend groups all hang out, but we come and leave. Like my other brother, when he's in a relationship, he's like not with his friends. He's like one of those guys like me. Like when we're in relationships, we just kind of like are in our relationship. So we're not people who are like, yes, you're friends for life or whatever, but you also. Like, how much time are you taking up? How much time am I giving to you? What's happening in my life? Like, when, I, when I'm, when i you know, not busy with work. And like, I don't... if they hang out every day, I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm always the inconsistent one. I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to hang out with you guys every day, so. Yeah, there's, like, other things to do, other people to hang out with, other responsibilities I have. Again, you're always looking for people who compliment your life mm -hmm. or compliment your lifestyle. And I wish, like, I don't, like, the problem is, like, I don't want to reject everyone. I think everyone's really cool. I wish I could hang out with everyone all the time. But I just can't. Like, I can barely hang out with myself. Like, I'm busy. I'm tired. I'm, like, I have limited time. You know, I, I would choose myself, though, and my family and friends in a hierarchical, like, I would rather choose these people, these people, these people. And then what if all those things are exhausted, then I'm like, who else? Yeah. But it's hard for me to pick... Like, you know what I mean? Like, for me, like, since we were all, were like, a group once, and they split apart, but I've always liked all of them, so mm. I'm like, well, I'm, obviously, now I'm just hanging out with you guys individually, which is what I prefer it anyway, because yeah. I like hanging out with one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, my friends are a little weirded out. They're like, oh, you're going to go hang out with them? My old friend? I'm like, yes, because they're still my friend. Bye. Yeah, and I also trust my friends to <laughs> stay friends with certain people to an extent. Like, one time, um, my friend was still kind of, like, tolerating my stalker and i was like hey are you tolerating my stalker for a particular reason and she was like oh i just didn't want to make waves and i was like well you better to make waves <coughs> this friendship if you don't choose me over the stalker but like other friends absolutely yeah. not like if you have other friends i trust you to be friends with them for a reason but i also will have a limited friendship with people anyway like my inner circle would never be friends with someone who talks shit about me but if my friends who are like inner like they're close but they're not inner circle if they have friends that kind of talk shit about me I don't really care that much. Because yeah, it's kind of like, I, mm, talking shit, it's kind of like, everything that I've talked shit about, my, I've told them to their face But see, that's our times. family. We're like happy to yes. talk shit to your face. And I think that's why I'm the one in the group that split apart, that right. I, I'm with each other, because I look at y'all, I'm like, you're stupid, you're stupid. I'm stupid sometimes, so I totally get right. it. But in my head, dealing with our family, sometimes, you know, you know your sibling's lying, but you don't even want to say it, because mm -hmm. you're just like, mm-hmm, and just roll your eyes, you're like, okay, we believe you. <laughs> But you're just being dumb. Yeah, absolutely. It's like, we're just used to it. We're not going to, I'm not going to fight you over that because I don't care what you do. Like, do your thing. But uh, anyway, I like, they, you know, they say their lie or they vent or say, I hate that. They're hanging out with them. They're stupid. I'm like, cool. Want to go get food? Because like, I'm over talking about this. Like, mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. know, I don't really care. I'm not going to go to, I'm not going to lose sleep over thinking about that. This. Yeah, I think like once I started doing a hierarchy, like inner circle, inner outer, I had different expectations, which allowed me to be like, oh, that's interesting. Like if I had like, even if my YouTube friends one day like started talking mad shit on me, but like, oh, interesting. As long as we can talk about it, whether it's on air or off air, I don't care. Yeah. But if you're too pussy to face me about it, well, then you ooh, have to get cut ooh. off because you're too pussy. Something I can't have else, friends like that around me. Something else that's the cringiest thing ever is when, you know. <laughs> Someone starts talking shit about someone and everyone gangs up on them. And I'm always like, uh, you like that person yesterday. And since your other friend who you think, I don't know, maybe you want to impress them or peer pressure. Anyway, so like I'm talking to my friend, at my friend and another person walks in like a coworker that they hate. I'm like, they're like, I hate them. I'm like, I don't, I'm going to go talk to them. Yeah, and I'm not going to be like, oh, my friend's going to not be my friend because I like someone they hate. I'd never give a fuck about that. If they ditch me as a I they've never dropped me as a friend they know they're like they kind of make fun of me they're like oh you love this person i'm like yeah i know you hate them haha <laughs> yeah. i love i love you both yeah i think it's just like with our family especially or just like meeting people where they are on a journey you can make whatever decision you want to so make so different my friends are all so different by the way and my coworkers that i hang out with they're completely different people mm -hmm. but i i connect with all of them and they I like all different kinds of people that's why i think i love my discord it's like all different kinds of people <clears throat> but like i like all people for different reasons i think everyone's always looking for though like but do you like me more than them and i'm like i i don't know i like yeah like i like everyone more than somebody i guess but like i like my partner better than i like anybody so like what does it matter like it just i don't know 
Um, yeah. Travis says, how would you word setting the boundary or that boundary of I want to date you and choose, but I expect you to cut people off that work against me? Like, does it come off too controlling ever? Yeah, I think it can. I yeah. think it is. I think sometimes it is controlling. So I think what you need is um, Alex is Brittany. Your brother talks like you. I mean, we are genetically well, the same. Mm -hmm. I mean, technically. So like, yeah, I think um, I, I think anything you do could come off toxic. I think asking my partner to be monogamous could be toxic. If I'm like, never look at anyone again, never notice anyone again, never swipe on anyone's. It's like, whoa. It's like, okay, yeah, it's some anything could be toxic. Or I want to open a relationship where I'm never obligated to you, where you could fuck anyone you want, and I never need to check in with you. I never want to, like, like, anything could be toxic. So that's why I think you can get two good people in a relationship, but then you can make each other toxic and be bad people. Because if you get two different people together, the other person might be feeling attacked. Mm -hmm. It might feel like gaslighting. It might, it's like, if I dated someone like my mom, I'd constantly feel gaslit because she's always just like, I know you better than you know yourself. Mm -hmm. You could choose Christ right now. It's like, okay, why are we triggering each other? Why are we choosing people that make us crazy? But I didn't know that till after I dated some people, obviously, how to kind of tell the difference and why my values were so important. I didn't really understand why it was so important that I put down my foot about what I wanted because I didn't understand how badly it would impact my mental health. And again, I'm borderline. So maybe this is just something I need from my brain. But I think the way I always say it is, hey, I love you. I want to make sure we're on the same page about our goals in a relationship. Let's say we want to get married long term. I want to make sure that I understand, do you have some friends in your life that maybe haven't been the best to you, but you keep them around because you're hoping they'll be better? That's great. How is this relationship going to impact our marriage and our kids? Look, I have like inner circle people that I love that still can't come around because they're so toxic that mm -hmm. like I love them, but when they're around, they really hurt a lot of people. So I have to be the one who's mature enough to say I have to put down boundaries. But I would want to agree with my partner about how to have those people in our life. Like one thing my partner um, and I discussed really a, a lot was whether or not I had a tendency, because I'm an online content creator, to be open to having conversations with really toxic people. And I'm like, yeah, sometimes I am. But I have to think about how that's going to impact my relationship. Is my partner saying, I don't want you to be free? Kind of. But he's also saying, I want you to be safe. And I think safe can mean not free. I can work against being a free spirit. Because Brittany, when she's single, I don't, I do take larger risks. But when I'm in a relationship, I take less risks because it's not just me being impacted. So again, when you bring up conversations to your partner, when I say you should have shared values, shared reality, these conversations should be pretty safe, even if they're painful. They should feel safe to have. I shouldn't feel like I'm going to get abandoned by bringing up a problem. But I think when you're with the wrong person, you're supposed to have discussions to eliminate the relationship so you can find the right person. So if you're being left because you have a disagreement, you know, I don't know what it is. Don't put it in your mouth. I probably, I dro oh, I did. I dropped a bunch of pills the other day and I was like, <laughs> anyways. So like, again, it's a, it's a matter of like, if you guys see reality the same, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. It'd be just a normal conversation that had some tension. But if you guys are coming from different places, it's always going to feel like an attack because you're like, why don't you see me? Why aren't you agreeing with me? Why don't you believe what I believe? It's like, well, that's why you have to discuss it before you start making large commitments to one another. That was a monologue. Yeah. <sighs> I guess, I don't know, my first, like, right when I heard that question, I was like, that's weird to tell your partner to not hang out with someone. Is that what the thing was? Uh, yeah, but what if the what if the friend was, like, constantly, like, Ugh, your partner again? Ugh, like, if I had a friend who talked mad shit on my partner or was really negative about it, I'd be like, girl, get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. But that's why none of my friends would dare. Unless they had a good reason. You better have a good fucking yeah, reason. Yeah, if there's a good reason, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but if there's not a good reason, that's just I your bad that. attitude. What if I was like, yeah, they're trash in that way. But would I date someone who's trash in a way? Like, that's what I'm saying. It's a reflection not? Like, of you. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I don't. It's not like I need someone perfectly on a pedestal of mental health. Obviously perfectness. not. It's like, yeah, we say toxic, but it's like, we can be toxic too. Like, it's just, uh, I think there's a difference between... But is that word... I don't know how bad that no, word no, is. No, no, I think... So, toxic occurs for two reasons either you've created a uh, environment in which it brings out your worst parts or you are just a malicious person so if you're in an environment where your worst parts are coming out you better fucking change that i mean environment. toxic sounds bad like maybe if, if yeah it sounds like really bad but like maybe i'm just saying like i don't know maybe if you're i don't know i'm saying we can all have ugly moments that's not yeah, the same as being toxic yeah, okay though. that's good then I right agree that's not you. the same as like i can have bad moments of because of my mental health 
Yeah, of course. But that's not the same as like, I am not a toxic person. I'm not literally trying to torture okay. my partners. I have a hypothetical question because this happened to like couple co or a coworker. So coworker is dating boyfriend of like three years. She's like, I broke up with him super unexpectedly. I was like, really? Why? Because he doesn't want to go to, he doesn't want to get his GED. Mm. Um, he's like, uh, uh, you know, a shift lead at a, a, a restaurant or whatever. And he doesn't want it. But school is, uh, but, sh you know, I guess he promised, you know, probably just to shut her up. Probably like, yeah, I'll get it. Mm. And then he didn't. So she broke up with him. And I was like, she asked me, she's like, what do you think about that? I'm like, well, I mean, in my uh, opinion, I don't think school's necessary. Like our parents, our parents didn't graduate and he's a genius. Um, I don't think you need it. But if it's so important to you, if it's truly important to you and you're, you need a partner who, you know, you want your partner to do that, then you're not compatible, obviously. Right. Or maybe you're a little too stubborn about this and you maybe need to think like that's not what he wants. So kind of giving that ultimatum of either go to school or breaking up is a little harsh to me. But if it's so important to you, like you need to find someone who's going to do that for you. Yeah, it's like a lifestyle thing. Again, I think I would have. Well, it sounds like she broke up with him also because he lied. Said I was going to do it, was, but then didn't do it. That's why I said that. I was thinking So that, like, people, people, you know. Sometimes but she did admit later. She's like, maybe you're right, Mark. And I was too stubborn because, I don't know, she's thinking about it. But I don't think it was the lying that triggered her. I think it was the school. She was so pissed. She's like, you're not going to do anything with your life. He's just not going to do anything with his life. He doesn't go to school. Then I brought up our dad. And she well, was like. Well, the problem okay. is our dad's not a good example. He's in his 60s and got established at a time where people didn't need it. Oh. So the question is, does well, the I... modern world require it of you? I know a friend who's been working at the airport and he can't actually join an airline because he doesn't have his GED or his high school diploma. So he'll never actually grow in his job. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I know, like, you And know, all he needs is that stupid piece of paper and it all would help. he's making more. Like, in, in the company I work for, can I say it? I don't care. But like People know you work for Starbucks. Okay, yeah. You've been it, like, in Starbucks, it, you can work your way up in Starbucks. You don't need a degree. It will help you for sure. But if you're going to, you can totally work up in corporate and you don't need a job and you can get a salary and do it that way. I'm sure it's yeah, the same so for again, company, but it would help you When so you're much. dating, what you're asking of your partner should help fuel the relationship and you guys should be a team, in my opinion, and figure out what works. Unless you have a roommate partnership, which is fine, a parallel relationship where like we each have our own jobs, our own money, we don't talk about how much we make, oh. we live together, but like we don't, hmm. or I travel or maybe, you know, everyone has a different relationship. So you really got to know which one you're having, Yeah, I, th I feel, to know kind of how to plan for the future. But again, you're setting goals. Like I don't, I won't date someone or marry someone who doesn't want kids, but I need them to be open to the fact that I might not mm, be able to have them or I might not be able to um, physically have them. Like if I get diagnosed with something worse than even the lupus or if like I have major problems moving forward or maybe the lupus is too much for me, then like they need to be open to the fact that I might medically not be able to have children because of my energy levels. But also I need someone who's open to having kids because that's ultimately my goal. I'm building a life to try to have kids. Yeah, see, I'm so behind in dating. Like I haven't even fathom sharing money with someone oh yeah i've always had my own money my own paycheck my own stuff which is fine some people but, do do that but like when i'm dating someone i always imagine like we treat each other and that's cute but sharing it i've never gotten that far in my head well maybe you don't need to like not I've everyone got, yeah has... i've got i've gotten to like l moving in together but i've never fathomed sharing finances so it's yeah kinda like, like when oh. i get married eventually like he and i are gonna have the same bank accounts he's gonna whoa. have access to all my money <gasps> yeah i never got there whoa that's crazy to think i don't yeah, yeah I, i've I don't never know done that I'll... well he's the first right do you I'm... want that like you yeah. crave that mm -hmm. i don't think i'm i might not ever want that which I'm is kinda, fine which is fine but like yeah, like, I, I don't know. It's kind of... Yeah, I, I really, like, I don't mind if We he, both kind of yeah. go half on everything type of thing is what I imagined. Yeah, but what if he doesn't work? Um, Like, some people aren't open to having a stay-at-home. Like, I don't know. I might not date someone who doesn't. Yeah. Unless we don't need it. Like, say we... What if we own a... Like, if we own our place or something and we really don't need it and I can afford it easy, maybe I won't mind being like buying our shit like maybe i won't mind yeah at all. and maybe he he m makes me feel good in different ways or contributes in different ways i definitely I like i would love like when i imagine my partner staying home and not working it's only because he'd be literally like making all the food and helping me with stuff and helping me with my job which would be different oh, yeah. if i feel like i was babysitting but if he was like... yeah if he wasn't doing anything or not helping or if he was like oh i'm gonna work on my own projects but they never amount to anything then it's like bitch you better get a job <laughs> I don't, yeah, um, yeah. I'm not going to have a stay-at-home partner who does arts and crafts. Yeah. Like, I'm not having a stay-at-home partner who, like, doesn't actually, like, balance out the fact that they're not working. Yeah, I have this thing, too. Like, I don't know. Like, my, my friend really wants to treat me. He's like, please, mm -hmm. let me, like, I'm taking you out. My treat. 
and I don't know, maybe it, maybe this is a mental thing or, or maybe I just like to treat my friends because uh, my reason is like money's really not important to me. I appreciate your time and your 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 company way more than the money yeah. my friends really appreciate their money a lot and like it's a lot for them to spend 40 bucks so i don't mind paying for us like you're hanging out with me and i love that so let me treat you because yeah so quality time over gift giving like you prefer quality time uh yeah for sure for sure i think for most sure. of our family i feel kind of awkward when someone pays for me because i feel bad because i'm like I, I i don't mind paying like i feel bad that you are you can you should save your money i want you to save your money yeah but don't let people take advantage of you either oh that's totally happened in high school before but but not anymore my friend like literally is like my treat and reading back on her text it's funny because i was like he's like i'm gonna get you drunk and get you fed i'm like you get us drunk and i'll get us fed and he was like, my tree. No. And I'm like, oh, man, I can't just, like, let someone pay for me for some reason. It feels, like, weird. I yeah, I think that's fair. I really got to pee really bad. Uh -huh. Okay, so I'm going to go pee. You can talk to the chat. Don't dox us or tell anyone. I don't have pee. anything to say specifically. If you guys want to ask more questions, now's your time. I'm going to go pee. I'm going to use your bathroom so they don't hear me pee in the background. Wait, I can't read this. Be careful with the wire down here. It unplugs my computer, and I've done it a thousand what? times. You see this wire? Just don't step on it because it will okay. shut off the whole computer. I it says finds random pills and puts them in his mouth. Your bro's living on the edge. I did not put it in my mouth. Right here. This is an allergy pill. Find my... I find I can't really trust what people say about themselves most of the time anyway. I mean, I don't know. I feel like, I, I don't know, lately I guess I, I'm just like... I just know someone's bullshitting really good, especially the last year. Like, trusting intuition and stuff is, like, really... Um, I've always regretted when I don't trust my gut. So I'm, like, mad at myself when I don't. If you know, you know, like, you know, you, you'll meet a person and then you have a weird feeling and you completely ignore it. And then later you find out, like, they're a lying bitch or, like, it just causes a lot of drama or something and you're like damn i really did know that deep down or you know you hang out with someone and you don't want to and you do and you regret it it's just like i don't know but now that's why i'm trying to be as honest as possible with myself or someone so someone asked me to hang out and i don't know i'm like let me sleep on it and i'll let you know and then it's a yes or no it just depends um like for example there's like a, you know, a coworker trying to add me on social media. And I like back then I would add anyone you, you, typically, but I had a really bad vibe about her, even though I just met her that day and I rejected them like three times and then like ended up going psychotic on me at work. And I was like, holy shit. Like, did I not? What? What? I was like, what chips were I sitting oh, on? It's only, it's only <laughs> flowers. He murdered my flowers. Anyway coworker goes crazy that i had a gut feeling about and i'm like dang i wasn't even trying to trust my intuition i just like followed it without even thinking about it and i was like everyone was i not right she was fucking crazy <laughs> and like i'm so happy i did not get involved or go to their house and they invited me so many times i just like that's the thing your whole, my whole body was like i just don't want to i don't know anything about this person at all yeah but my intuition was just so fucking spot on <clears throat> anyway trust your <sighs> gut you know, you know, people are lying to you, or I hope so. Anyway, I'm not sure. Well, it's also just something you have to learn in life, too. Like, gosh, how many friendships have I been through? How many, like, boyfriends or girlfriends? Yeah, but, how like, many, like, if you think about it, like, I, I don't know. Maybe I was being a people pleaser back then or, or something. I think that's a part of it. But, yeah, and every time that I have done something, I, like, I think back everything bad that's happened, and I'm like, I was not fully in that. I was not passionate about that. Mm. I didn't have a go-for-it attitude or feeling. It's just, like... Dang. In my head, in real life while I'm dead, my belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine, not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense. I've been nothing but blessed, so why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking, yeah. Sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool. Dun, 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 dun.